Okay, in this next video on number theory, we're going to talk about the prime and composite numbers. Okay, it's form of definition and uh, um, the way or the how we look at it in the perspective of number theory. So we're still in the part of number theory, invisibility theory, and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay, so let's start. So primes or prime numbers, um, it can be um, read in short as primes or called upon as primes, are the building blocks of the positive integers. So let's kind of take this. They are the building blocks of positive integers. Why is that? Because it's very important in the statement of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay, which simply states that all natural numbers can be decomposed, okay, excluding one. It can be decomposed in a factors as a factors of prime. Okay, we call that prime factorization. But in the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it states that every natural number, okay, greater than one, has a unique prime factorization. And then um just um yeah just subscribe to this channel and i will be preparing one video for that okay in the future about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and its proof okay so let's have this let's move a little bit above so some integers have exactly two factors we know that and some have even more than two factors okay let me cite an example an example here so one example is the number integer three so try to imagine the integer three what are the factors of 3? Okay, so by thinking about that, there you can say that there are only two factors of 3. So 3 has two factors, namely 1 and itself. 3. So there's none, right? There's no more numbers. Okay, that If you're going to multiply both of them, it will become 3. That is in the integers. In, in the integers. But try to compare 6. Okay, 6 has four factors actually so it has the factor of one that's a factor uh one two three and itself why is it so because when you multiply two and three it will give us six if you multiply one times six it will still give us six so meaning um these four here one two three and six are all factors of six okay so meaning four a uh, six has more than two factors, whereas three has only two factors. So accordingly, by this example, we will make the following definition. Let's put this up. up. Let's have another fresh page. Oops, sorry. Let's have another fresh page. Fresh page. <clears throat> so definition. So a positive integer, a positive integer oops, positive integer uh, greater than one is a prime number. put uh, there or simply called as a prime it can be like that if it's only if it's only factors are one in itself itself okay so that is uh, it has only two factors strictly two factors and then contrary to that a positive integer integer greater than one is that is not that is not a prime okay. 
is called the composite number. Sorry. Or simply called as composite. Okay, so let's put it under line here. Sorry. Okay, there. Okay, so there, uh, let me read it again. A, a positive integer greater than 1 is a prime number, or simply called as a prime, if its only factors are 1 in itself. So surely it has only two factors. A positive integer greater than 1 that is not a prime, okay, that is, it has, it, it, it doesn't have only factors of 1 in itself, is called a composite number. Okay, so but is it, it's called a composite number. So notice here that by definition, 1 is neither prime nor composite. So note, remark, click there. Remark. So based on this definition, 1 is neither prime neither prime nor nor composite okay so what is one then if it's not a prime nor composite it is just simply it is simply the multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity. Okay, or the unit. Okay, so it's simply just the multiplicative identity. We know that from the identity property of multiplication. Or it simply is the unit. Simple as the unit. Okay, so that is 1. So we can say that the first 10 or say the first 5 prime numbers are Okay, the first five prime numbers are um, five primes are so we have two and anyways two has as a very um, special condition where it where it is the only even and prime number. Two, three, five, seven, and eleven. Okay, there you go. And then for the first non primes, anyways, composites are also called as non primes. The first. Five composites are 
are so we have four to fill in the gap four six eight nine and ten okay there so also it follows from this definition that a set of positive integers meaning all of the positive integers can be partitioned can be divided into three disjoint classes okay so the three disjoint classes are number one that is for all for all positive integers uh, for all n in n can be partitioned into um, uh, they can be partitioned okay, they can be partitioned as um, the set of primes Number two is set of composites. And number three, so for for the non primes and non composites, there's only one which is the simpleton okay which is one okay so we're at where all of them are disjoint uh, where these partitions where these three these partitions are disjoint. Okay, so that's it for our properties of the primes and I will leave you with this with this question in mind before we end I'll give you a question in mind for you to ponder okay the question is this how many primes are there okay there so the question that i will i will say that you will take home is this how many primes are there okay so how many primes are there so are there a million are there trillion primes how many primes okay, to be exact okay so this will be your take home question um for this video um we will be answering this by the next video um by using one lemma that will help us to to prove this to prove this um, or to answer this question again a lemma is a minor result for to use to prove a future bigger theorem a bigger a bigger result and then we're going to talk about the one theorem that will prove that or that will um, tell you how many primes there are we call that the Euler's theorem or rather the Euclid's theorem sorry Euclid's theorem okay so that's it for this video I hope that you have learn something from this um if if you have some questions in mind you can always um watch and and review I mean, rewind okay thank you very much for watching i hope that you would like and subscribe okay see ya